copper kettle, bring out the copper kettle, take my hand in the field, my love, and bring out the copper kettle. The copper in the kettle, in the kettle, in the copper, in the copper, in the kettle, in the kettle. Why are they doing that? That was Copper Kettle. Really? Sung by our gifted and talented choir. Just one of the advantages your children will enjoy if they are accepted into our gifted and talented program. Thank you all for coming. And thank you, Mrs. Falvey, for a delightful evening of discussion and song. My husband and I had a great time, didn't we, Larry? Oh, yeah. Uh, You guys sure beat the hell out of the dumb kids' choir. (laughs) I love that program for Sierra. Those kids seemed really neat. Uh Uh-huh. What's wrong with you? Larry, this is a great opportunity for her. Hey, the door's locked. Sierra! Um, in a minute. You guys are back early. Why was the door locked? I don't know. The better question is, why do we live in a world where the doors need locks? I think she's got us there. Honey, you're going to love the Gifted and Talented program. Mrs. Falvey's coming by tomorrow morning for the interview. Oh, great. Awesome. Hmm, these flowers are pretty. Where did they come from? Um, I picked them. Really? You did? Yep. Excuse me for wanting to make things look beautiful around here. She's in a weird mood. Huh. Maybe she senses a copper kettle in her future. Siegfried, I need a new tanning bed. Why? I want to be the hue that is cinnamon. This one only goes to gypsy. Roy, you must be quiet. I am watching the tube of boobs. Feeling thirsty? Yes, I am feeling thirsty. Oh, that is the third time he has asked me this. Roy, I need you. Come quickly. What is the problem? Cool off with a super big gulp drink at your local 7-Eleven. Ah. Ah? I want to have the ah. Okay, you shall have it. Thunder! Lightning! <laughs> Bring out the copper kettle. Take... <gasps> Larry! <laughs> oh, my God. Get in here! I'm kind of busy, hon. I'm working on the fire... Boy, did my daughter hit the jackpot with you. Larry, this is a nightmare. Look what I just found in Sierra's room. Please tell me this isn't what I think it is. Yep. That's catnip. Oh, God. Our daughter's a nip head. Nice. You run the tight ship, champ. This explains the locked doors and the weird attitude. Look, she's a teenager. She's bound to experiment. Bound to experiment. Way to parent with authority. Call me when she's pregnant. We failed as parents. We completely failed. <laughs> Why is she doing this? When I was a teenager, I never tried catnip. Did you? Me? Catnip? Never. Hey, kitty cats, what's happening? We just found this in Sierra's room. Uh, (laughs) Ah! This must take you back, Larry. Always had the good stuff, huh, buddy? Always a party at Larry's. Lots and lots of ladies. Some say they were only there for the nip. But hey, at least they were there. This is Ringity Bells. Woo! Hey! (laughs) He's he's not doing it right. I don't care. We have a serious situation here, today, now. What are we going to do? Okay, calm down. We'll just talk to her about it. Great. And what are you going to say when she asks if you did it as a kid? Uh... Exactly. We need professional help. It's good you came to see me about your daughter. I've seen it all in my long life. Ravi Shankar, the Beatles, that whole crazy scene. Fact, I am Lucy. From Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. You don't know this because that damn McCartney wants credit for everything. You're Lucy, but you're a guy. It was a weird time for all of us. <clears throat> so, your daughter's a nip jockey. Well, we don't know for sure, but we're very concerned. You should be. Fact, we're talking gateway drug here, man. First it's a little cat nip, then horse tranquilizers. Then before you know it, they're darting. Darting? Sleep darts. Watch this. This is a rare video shot by an associate of mine in Africa. Yeah, so? Now watch when I blow it up and slow it down. Oh, yeah. This is more footage of the same lion. 
Look how cunning he becomes in his search for the sweet nectar. Sadly, this is how they all end up. Hey! <laughs> Fact. There were no remains. What's that? Don't get cute. This isn't a game, Sierra. It's catnip. Or as you and your friends might call it, mulch, snorkel, monkey junk, street cheese, or Siamese coleslaw. What? You think that's mine? We found it in your room. Oh my God. You searched my room. What happened to privacy? We saw a movie about a lion that drove a truck. We're not going to let that happen to you. Well, it's not mine. Then whose is it? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe one of my friends put it there. Or maybe it's Siegfried and Roy's. I mean, that would definitely explain the outfits. Uh-huh. We're supposed to believe that. Yeah, because it's the truth. I don't believe it. You don't trust me. No, we don't trust you. For all we know, you're high on the Friedman right this minute. Honey, that's the doctor that did this study. You guys are insane. No, we're a new generation of parents. We had a lot of fun, so now you don't have to. Well, congratulations! I didn't want to do drugs before, but now maybe I will. You're grounded. You are the worst parents ever! We are not. My parents were. Hello, everybody. I am Siegfried. And I am Roy. Hello! We have come to the Sieben Eleven. How is everybody doing tonight? Terrific! <gasps> Look what I have found, Ziggy. Yeah, I do not like this one. For that. Goodbye. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. How dare you? Ooh. We'll start a tab. Hello, security camera. Here is one crime you cannot stop. I stole a six-pack. Ah! <laughs> Siegfried, the pickle. I have found him. Roy is trembling. It, it, no! Huh. Stay down for once in a while. Ah. Ah! Larry? Oh. One day, when the kids are out of the house, you and me, we're going to this place. Uh, I feel bad about the way we handled things with Sierra. Were we right not to trust her? I think so. I mean, she is a teenager. I know. Let's at least go in and tell her we still love her. Good idea. Sierra, can we talk to you? Sierra, come on. We've got to talk about what happened today. Honey, are you okay? Hunter, what are you doing in Sierra's bed? She said if I didn't pretend to be her, she'd kill Santa. Ah, uh, don't worry, buddy. There's no Santa. What? Hunter, I'm not going to ask you again, where's Sierra? I don't know where she went. Honey, come on. Where did your sister go? Um, Dusseldorf, the powerhouse of industrial Germany. Hunter, come on. I helped you with that geography report. So, you want to play hardball? Well, what's this? Oh, water. As I recall, little kitty cats don't like water. I don't know where she is. I've cracked harder nuts than you, mister. Oh, I'm hit. Oh, officer down. Um, maybe she went to the rave? The rave? I heard some older kids talking about it. I didn't know there was a rave scene in our community. Oh, yeah. They throw down once a month. You see all the craziest kids here. What up, bro? <laughs> it's cool, Ping Pong. They're with me. <laughs> Oh, and if you need to chill, check out the Moroccan room. Happening.
burning up. Excuse me. I'm looking for my daughter. Do any of you go to school with my daughter? No. Sweetheart, it's okay. We love you. I love you too, Daddy. <laughs> I don't want to live with Mom anymore. Oh. Okay. I love you, Speaker. Oh. Um, I'm going home now. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> oh, and if any of you touch my daughter, I'll pull out your intestines and eat them while you watch. Whoa. Have fun, everybody. She's not here. Let's go. Congratulations. I crown you this most likely to make out with me. Henry Davis, I'm in a book club with your mother. Oh. Abort, 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 abort. Hey, you just gave away my nip necklace. That was quality mulch, man. Dude, she's hot. And I totally went all the way with her. Sleep. Ah, fool Magen. I must find the formula to fix the machine. Yeah, times the absolute value of syrup ba, 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 minus the cosine of cola. Da! I failed to factor in the root beer. Perhaps we should just get slurpees. Nein! We didn't come all this way to slurp. We came to gulp. Now leave me to my work. No, no! <sighs> Lizzie, I'm sorry. You are a good dancer. I was laughing at something else. Look, can we talk later? I'm not supposed to be on the phone at work. Honey, no! I can't believe she broke up with me. Then do not believe it, and it will not be. Go, go to her now and tell her that she is a rainy day. What? Yes, she is a rainy day that waters the flowers of your soul. Out! But my shift isn't up for two hours. Roy is shifting now. You don't even know how to work to register. Is it impossible? No. That is a shame, for Siegfried and Roy are masters of the impossible. Now go! Go to your Lizzie with the two left feet! It's already morning. Where is she? Ugh, this is our fault. She ran away because we didn't trust her. God, I'm exhausted. And I'm starving. Have one of these. Mm -mm. Sierra, thank God you're all right. Where have you been? Yeah, you know, we're sitting... Your father and I are very upset with you. That's absolutely right. You and are you... going to learn a whole new meaning for the word punishment. You got that right. When, when I, was... I was your age, I would have never done something like this. Kate, let me shout something. You're taking all the good stuff. Where have you been? And don't say the rave because we were there. Why should I tell you? You wouldn't believe me anyway. Hold it, young lady. You're not going anywhere until you tell us where you've been all night. Oh, I was with Dean, my new boyfriend, okay? New boyfriend? Yeah. You know, I didn't want to tell you about him because he's a little older. And he has a kid. Can we go back to when you were maybe on drugs? Nothing happened. You guys were just so heinous for not believing me. I needed to talk to someone. Well, that's not acceptable. Your father and I were very, very furried about you. <laughs> hey, Larry, check it out. I just said furried. <laughs> furried. That's awesome. Who are you? <laughs> Are you guys okay? <laughs> Aren't you glad I didn't say banana? <laughs> I don't get it. Me neither. <laughs> oh my god. Have you guys lost your minds? Ba ba ba. Ba 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 ba. Larry, can I talk to you? I feel funny. Me too. You know, I haven't felt this way since. Oh my god, it just hit me. There must have been nip in those sausages. <gasps> What are we gonna do? Oh my God, it just hit me. There must have been nip in those sausages. Mm. You must be Sierra. I'm Mrs. Falvey from the Gifted and Talented program. Are you ready for your evaluation? Hey, I know you. Upper kettle, copper kettle, copper kettle. So, anyway, long story short, the gazelle stopped out the fire, and we got the heck out of there. That's fascinating, but I asked if you had any other children. Right. Kate, you want to feel this one? Awesome. I have a brother named Hunter. Mom, Dad, why don't you go get us something to drink? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> They're not morning people. I think we're doing really well. Yeah, but I don't know how much longer I can be cool. But we have to hold it together for Sierra. Oh my God, Kate, you gotta try this. Oh, 
I, I love history. My term paper was about the role of lions in early Christianity. And science. I like science. Excuse me for one second. What the hell is going <gasps> Holy crap. Are these nip sausages? After all the speeches and the judgments, how could you guys be such hypocrites? Drugs are bad. Look, I can't deal with this right now. <gasps> okay, just stay in here and don't blow this for me. Are your parents all right? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're great. They're so great, they want to challenge me and have me finish this interview by myself. <laughs> That's them always encouraging my independence, promoting curiosity, challenging me intellectually. Whee! You're like this giant donut. Push me faster! I want to go back in time! Well, I think I've seen enough here. Thank you for a very interesting visit. Tumble out of bed and stumble to the kitchen. Pour myself a cup of ambition. Yawn and stretch and try to come to life. Hello, customer. How are you doing today? Terrific. Gum. Would you like some Vienna sausage with that, Rick? My name's not Rick. Hmm. Now it is. <clears throat> it is done. Siegfried, you are a genius. Tell me something not known to myself. Roy. Roy. Thank you, Roy. You saved my life. I found Lizzie, we made up, and we just got married. Congratulations. A hobo dropped a Slurpee in aisle three. Chop, chop. <laughs> well, now we are going to have the drink of the magical fairies. Sprite. How did you do all of this? Well, I used the Freon from the cooling tank to create the fog. Then for the laser, I adjust... No, 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 no. Just say it was magic. It was magic. Yeah! Uh, we ruined our daughter's life. Thanks, honey. Sierra, we are so, so sorry. <sighs> Whatever. Okay, to be fair, we did find catnip in your room. For the last time, that wasn't mine. Mm-hmm. Oh, what a night. Martha the lion? Not much of a looker, but uh, worth it for the breakfast. <laughs> hey. Where's my vase? Your vase? Yeah, the green one with the butterflies painted on it. And catnip stashed in the bottom. That's the one. I'm going to need that back. Oh, not the vase so much. The catnip was yours? I got blamed for that! Tough break, kid. Don't do drugs. Stay in school. That's it? Dad, we just blew her chance to get into the honors program. I mean, what kind of example are you setting? Him? What about you? I told you all along that it wasn't my nip, and you didn't believe me. <sighs> You're right. None of this would have happened if we just trusted you. Yeah, just because we were a little wild as kids doesn't mean you'll be. From now on, Sierra, we trust you completely. Excellent, because Dean's taking me camping this weekend. Uh, Don't worry, we'll each have our own sleeping bag. Plus, he's bringing his kids, so nothing's gonna happen. That's great, sweetheart. Daughters, I feel for you. Seriously, where'd you put my nip? Anyway, Sierra, your grades are splendid and I've always been impressed with you. But to be honest, I was inclined to reject you because of yesterday's reprehensible display. By the way, sweet D on that pass. <laughs> but after some reflection, I've reconsidered and decided to accept you after all. Whoa! Yeah! You have really made our... Uh, no, no, I just... I wish you all the best. Thanks for everything, Martha. You're a peach. This morning's eggs? Mwah! <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> I think I speak for everyone when I say ick. Happiness as being a grandparent. Ah. Refreshment better than an icy cold 7 Eleven Big Gulp. Unless <coughs> that Big Gulp is teamed up with one of our fresh, delicious 7 Eleven chili dogs. Mm. I want the mmm. Me too. Thunder, lightning! Ah, the shop! Ah, uh, yeah. Dal, Justin, 